What up guys? Welcome to your 160th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial, we're basically going to create a widget as you see here. Um, you can move this widget around on your home page and you can delete it. And what's going to happen is when we, I'll just delete this real quick. We're going to use a method when it deletes, displays a toast. For the most part this widget is pointless, but you can just add a widget by holding down on your main screen. And uh, and it pulls this up here and we can pick like pointless widget which is the one I created uh, just to get reference and then it create right when we create a widget it opens an activity that is basically going to be our configuration so we can type something and hit OK sends that result and this text this first text view is going to be whatever that result is and then our button is going to be dis or our buttons going to you know open up activity or some sort, uh, maybe open up, you know, the new Boston splash screen, get our activity going that way. And also this last text view, it's going to just display a random number every like half an hour or ho however often our, our widget updates. So as for now, we just created it and it's not displaying a number and we might actually disable this button and wait for half an hour as well, something like that. But that's pretty much what we're gonna create just a pointless widget uh, for the most part so let's just get into it uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is what we're gonna do is just set up our classes so you guys can keep them open for the next few tutorials if you choose so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up two classes one to basically be our widget and handle all of the widget activities and methods and all that stuff and then we're gonna create a new class that's gonna be popped up when we first create our widget on you know the, the person's device so we can do some sort of configuration first class we're gonna call it pointless widget because it's pretty much pointless but you know whatever so we have that class created we also need to create one new class to be our configuration so we're gonna say widget config something like that and those are gonna be our two classes that we're gonna work with now we have to define these classes in the manifest and it's gonna be a little bit different than what we have done previously not much different but a little bit so within our uh, manifest here within the application brackets we need to set up both those classes one is going to be a receiver which is our widget because basically it's a broadcast receiver that's going to receive updates you know whenever we tell it to update and all that good stuff so basically our widget class is going to be that receiver and our other class is actually going to be an activity but we need to configure it so right when our you know our application starts it's going to open up that activity so again the first one we need to create is a receiver which is different because before we worked with activities and again we just need to call the name so we're going to say android name is equal to and then dot pointless class or pointless widget uh, <clears throat> and uh, we also if you choose to give it a label we're just going to copy the label from all of our other classes and paste it and there we go uh, we're gonna open up some space for this receiver and we're gonna add an intent filter and uh, basically we're just gonna give that some space as well and what we're gonna do within this intent filter is set up an action name there's a few different names that we can or there's a few different action names that we can refer to um, when making a widget but this one's gonna be our update uh, it's basically going to only be called when it when our widget updates. So we're just going to say uh, Android dot app widget dot action dot and all uppercase app widget underscore update. And then we're just going to close off our action name. And so now this class is going to be called every time our widget updates and we're gonna set that update probably in the next tutorial but again uh, we just need to refer to this action name we're also going to add some metadata so we're just gonna say under our where our intent filter closes off we're gonna say uh, metadata oops and we're gonna give this a name Android uh, name is equal to Android dot app widget again dot provider 
and we're also going to relate some information about the resource which we'll get into later I just want to make sure we have everything defined before we get into it and we can kind of review this later so our resource um, is going to be equal to uh, again whatever we set up the resource as but we're going to say at XML forward slash uh, widget stuff or whatever you guys want to call that those other things had to be you know spelled verbatim but this one is a class that, or this is going to be XML file that we're going to create called widget stuff so we gotta to remember to do that and then just forward slash close off our metadata 